What is everybody? So we're gonna get three here. Sorry for the audio issues last episode. I know it was probably kind of quiet, but my mic was uh, doing weird things, and now we're good again. Welcome back to Let's Play. Xenoblade Chronicles for the Wii New Game Plus. Last time we escaped from Mechanus and got back to Colony Six, where we built a stronghold, basically. And now we're gonna we're gonna go into the, the Bionis eventually. But today we're not doing that. We're doing one thing today, and that is the only voiced side quest in the game. Now I've known about this since I first played like this in the LP. People were like, "Oh, you better do this one side quest. It's like it's the only voice side quest in the game." And they're like, it, it has a familiar character in it, but I never did it. Why? I don't know. I'm a stickler for not doing side quests or something. But you know, today we are finally going to do it. It's the thing I was trying to initiate last episode. Now, I don't know who the flu would think to walk out of Colony 6 right when the objective point points to there. I don't know, like, any normal player wouldn't think to do this, I bet. But, you know, since we know this game like the back of our hands, well, I semi-do, I know the main story pretty well. We are going to go this way. Why? Well, I really hope I'm going the right way. If I'm not, I'm gonna feel really dumb. But I think I'm going the right way. It's one side quest, and it is the only voice side quest in the entire game. And I was looking at it on the wiki, and I think it triggers when you just go into a certain area. I don't think you, like, need to, um... I don't think you need to, like, accept something from an NPC. I think it'll just trigger. But I don't know. So we're gonna see. And I really hope this works. So, uh, yeah. Uh, we're gonna get there eventually. Yep. <laughs> oh, oh, this is the one. Melancholy Tyria. You found a collapsed Hyantia outside of Colony 6. There must have been a reason she was in the lower levels. Carry Tyria to Junks. Tyria? Yo! Remember that chick who gave us so much trouble in the original LP? Who's this? Who the floof do you think? This mother floofer. Ain't she the one who attacked us in the capital? We spent like more than like we spent like two episodes trying to defeat her. I don't even remember. Maybe it was one and I just cut it into one. <sighs> you Her voice isn't muffled anymore. Tyrea! What are you doing here? You're hurt. Do not touch me, vile girl. I read that as grill, I'm sorry. Watch it. Yeah, really, like you're in trouble, we can help. You don't want to get in our bad side. Oh. Oh. Tyrea, what happened? Is she dead? No. It looks like she just passed out. Ryan, if she was dead, why would she be moving? Let's get her to the infirmary. Ryan? Come on, why me? You're the strong one! Please. Reminder, I have never seen this quest in my life. I never looked it up, never did anything. I'm seeing this for the first time, and I'm curious to see what happens. Is she okay? Her injuries aren't severe. When the Bionis awoke, the ether flow around the colony became unstable. Maybe that's why she lost consciousness. Why was she here, though? No, that's not what I meant. You mean, why didn't she become a Telethia? <gasps> Yo! Wait a minute! She's Hyantia! Why isn't she a Telethia? Precisely. That doesn't make any sense. Maybe, is she a half-breed? For pure-blooded Hyantia to become Telethia, the ether energy surrounding the Bionis has to be above a certain level. I didn't even think about that. She is a Hyantia. Luckily, the level of ether energy here is not as high as on the upper regions of Bionis. So she just somehow lived, you know, out of all the people, this chick who tried to kill Melia. Why her? Why couldn't it have been Callian, man? That may be what kept her safe. Or perhaps... Perhaps what? Maybe she's half-breed! No. Think it's nothing. Think about it. That like that's my only explanation for this. Like everything else seems to have turned, because you know Dick, Dick, and uh, Alvis had their whole horde. Something about this makes me feel uneasy. I know what you mean. We'll have to keep an eye on her recovery. Why does she hate you so much, Melia? <laughs> oh yeah, Fiora wasn't around for that. I forgot about that part. You're both high end here. 
Is being pure-blooded really that important? Tyrea's birth mother is most likely my stepmother. What? You don't mean Eumea? Yes. I heard about it from Callion after I returned from the tomb. Wait, so... The... She was born from the... the evil chick? Mother was the leader of the Inquisitors. A secretive organization operating in the shadows of the Imperial household. Okay, so I'm getting some backstory I never knew! The group plotted to maintain the Imperial bloodline through a clandestine ritual. A ritual where Tyrea was conceived. And she was secretly raised as an Inquisitor assassin. Hold on a sec. Are you saying that Tyrea is Callian's half-sister? I don't want to think about this at all. That's right. No, stop putting these in my head. Then isn't she in the same position as you? Mm-hmm. Well, Melia was almost killed by her stepsister. That is correct. Hey, you're alive. Tyrea! You're awake! <sighs> I had more right to the throne than she ever did. Here we go again, folks. Were it not for the consort system that has so polluted the pride of our people, it would have been me, a pure-blooded High Entia, who would build the future of our people. You know, I don't like to put Melia down or anything, but I really like the highlights in her hair. I don't know. I never got a good look at her before without her mask on. She's kind of cute. Anyway! But you... You are a hypocrite. Just like me. If we are honest, what is the difference? You too would take the lives of your own people to protect your bloodline. Melia, you too are nothing but an assassin. What? Oh, I get what she's saying. <laughs> You're wrong. I'm... I don't buy that for a second. Ryan. Pride of your people? How about you're jealous of Melia? <gasps> Ooh! <laughs> Do you really think I would be jealous of her? Ain't ya? Ain't ya? <laughs> you're envious of her, right? Of how she lives her life. You just want everyone to feel sorry for you, for being in the shadows all your life. How dare you? No Hom speaks to me like that. I'm saying that you'll never have a life like Melia's. You don't have the faintest idea why Melia has been fighting. Ding! Even if you'd been born in her place, the Emperor still would have chosen her as his successor. Succeeding the Imperial line ain't all about blood. It's about taking on the will to do whatever it takes for your land, for your people, when the time comes. That's what makes Melia different from you. Ryan's dropping all these good points here. How dare you? He's not wrong. Both of you, stop this! This is no time for pointless bickering. I feel like Ryan actually has a good thing for once, you know, dumb man, you should really let, just let him keep saying it. He's right. We survivors shouldn't be fighting amongst ourselves. Right, time's up. I want the room cleared out. Yeah, okay. And you. You need to calm down and get some rest. Ugh. She's probably a half-breed. I mean, I don't know. Like, she says she's pure blood, but I don't know if I believe her. Because if she wasn't affected... I don't know. We'll find out. Hey, buddy! I like the highlights in her hair a lot. I, I will not lie. Me. Envious. I only think of my people. <gasps> what is that? Don't walk into it, it's not a safe point. Tyria. Tyria! No! Oh, floof! Huh. Oh no! I don't like the looks of this. This is not going in a good direction, um... 
here comes a boss fight. What's going on? <laughs> Meanwhile, True Minato is just like. Look, over there. <gasps> no. Flew you. Full of you for destroying the colony I spent no time with in this new game plus. Please don't tell me Tyrea merged with it. Guys, she's gone. Tyrea, you mean? Could that Telethia be her? No. At least, I'm fairly certain. What? There's no time now. We must pursue it. Well, <laughs> I was saying, Tyrea, that's not a safe point. Do we need to go, like, in the ship, like, somewhere? Where are we going? Alright, um, I think we're taking the ship. See, if all cutscenes were like this, I mean, like, all side quests were like this, I'd probably do more. And I know they wouldn't do that for every side quest in the game. But if more side quests, like, the more important ones were voiced, I might do them. Because I do not like reading text boxes, like, every time I want to do a quest. Wait, what? Ha oh, wait. Um, okay. I was, like, thinking, it's like, that's the objective point? Okay. So where is it going? Uh, um, where, where is, where's that? <laughs> it's so confusing. All right, look for the mysterious Telethia in the same spot as the, a past Telethia battle in Machna. I guess we're going back to Machna Forest, guys. Well, at least um, it told me where to go, and I haven't even used this map at all. So you know. I forgot how it all works. Let's see. Machna. I think we... Yeah, we passed it. Alright. Um, I don't know where that battle is. Enti this is the entire area of Machna Forest? Alright, so we've been... Uh, let's see. Village entrance, um... So that's what took us up. Then we went this way. Alright. I think I need to know where the entrance is. Oh, uh, let's see. So this is the... Alright, so we need to go this way. Alright. Machna Forest. I missed you. I always liked... A... I love this location a lot. I love me some Machna Forest. Zoom out and enjoy the sight. This is as far as I can zoom. Zoom out, I mean. I don't remember exactly where the Telethia fight was, but I'll try my best to get to it. What level are those things? Oh, 96? We can't fight those. Darn, I was gonna take me down a dino. Whee! Alright. It's been a while since we did something like this. You know, we're actually, like, exploring the world. Instead of just looking at the story. I mean, we're looking at the story, but still. Alright. Since I didn't... You know, it's probably a good thing I didn't explore a lot of Machna. Because then I'd be so confused on where to go. Because I do not remember at all where the Telethia fight was. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of the locations in this place just don't stick out. Like all jungle areas in every game ever made. Oh, shoot. That's, um... Uh, I don't th Oh, it's across there. It's right across there, right? I think? Eh. Alright. I think it's this way. I can't be too sure, but I think it's this way. It's probably this way. If it's not this way, I'm gonna be kind of angry. I'm just checking. Alright. It's gotta be somewhere around this way. Cause I, I didn't explore a lot of Machna. What are those? Machna X. Alright. So would it be around here? No. Unless it's popping in like everything else in this area is. Holy floof! Look at all this popping! Look at this! It's like a it's like my old PC trying to run this game. Holy floof. 
Um, this is another reason why I think this game should have, like, an, an NX HD remake. So that we can, um, have, like, you know, like, better... Better graphics and better loading. So this crap doesn't happen. Look at this. Look at this popping. Something pops in, like, every split second. I mean, maybe not that much, because it's, like, like, seizuring out. But, you know, you know what I mean. Alright. Uh, we just keep going. It's gotta be somewhere up ahead. Oh, I'm not using a guide for this, you know? Because every time I use a guide, it's usually for Xenoblade Chronicles X. Alright. Um. Alright, it should be down this way. It's probably down this way. What the floof? Oh no! Get a hold of yourself. Nope, 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 nope. We are not fighting that. Sorry, Mr. Dinosaur. But uh I'm not fighting you, buddy. Alright. Oh my god, that was scary. Suddenly changing the time, like, changes the weather. You know, that's how that works. It's like in two hours of in-game time, it starts raining again. You know, that'd be crazy if we could, like, just travel through time. Alright. Like, they're seeing the future. Then there's going to the future. <laughs> Alright. Um. It's somewhere around here. Somewhere around here. This should be right here. It should be right here. It, 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 we, we should have came across it by now. Can I ask, why is it all the way in Machna Forest? I, I did read that, right? It is in Machna Forest. Uh... Floof me. Um... That's not the right button. <laughs> Where would it be? It's a Machna, right? Look for Mysterious is in the same spot as a past Slothy battle in Machna Forest. Right, so it should be around here somewhere at least. I might as well mine while we're here. Oh, of course, my inventory's full. Why wouldn't it be? Um, I don't know where it is. Do we have to be here at a certain time of day? Here, we'll try it. We'll try that. It's gotta be some sort of BS thing to get it to show up. Here, here, we'll, we'll, we'll get it. Just give me, give me a minute. Come on, there's gotta be some sort of like BS time thing we have to do. That's the only thing I can think of! Like, there's no other place where it would've been a Telethia battle here! The only other Telethia battle there could have been is the one where Melia and her people were fighting it. We weren't there, so I doubt it means that. There's, there's nothing. There's, there's nothing. What the floof are we supposed to do? No? Where? Uh... Uh, oh, that's awesome. <sighs> All right. Anything? I can't think of where it would be. It's it's got to be somewhere around here. Whoa, it got really orange on my TV, especially. <laughs> All right. It's gotta be here. It's gotta be here now, right? Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> what are we doing? I don't... It gotta be like at midnight, right? Maybe at midnight. Come on, sometime at like midnight. 
It's gotta be at least, like, close to midnight. That makes sense. Like, showdown at midnight, you know? Alright, zero o'clock. There's still nothing. What are we doing wrong? Is it, like, somewhere around this way? I'm noticing a lot of poppin', so maybe. I mean, what have we learned? It's really pretty at night, so that's pretty worth it. Um... Yeah, I don't see it. I don't, I don't see it anywhere. Um... Hold up. I'm gonna... We're phoning it. We're phone googling. It's come to this, I'm sorry. Because I have no idea. It says explore where past Lethia battle happened, but I don't know. Melan Choli Tyria Tyria Um Flew a few advertisements. No! I don't want to go to your Tumblr link. What the flu are you doing? At Lakeside in Machna Forest. Well, I don't know where that is. Defeat the mysterious Celestia at Lakeside in Machna Forest. Where is Lakeside? Machna Forest map. We're gonna try this. Hey, it's a whole map right here. Lakeside. Lakeside is number four. Are you serious right now? Are you serious? Okay. You guys are never gonna believe this. I completely forgot. There was another Telethia battle. Right here! Where Shulk met Alvis. Obviously a player is going to think of the... Oh, of course. Yep, that's how it works. Okay. It must be Tyrea after all. I can't accept this. I... Never mind. You know we found her. What do we do? Do we have to fight her? Why not? There's no time to think about it. Ready yourselves. <laughs> We, do, we don't know that's Tyria, you know what I mean? You never know, they might have fused with it, but, you know. What the fool was that, dude? Alright. Level 80, Mysterious Telelethia. Alright, I've never done this before. This is, a, like, one would assume they mean the most recent Telethia battle in Machina Force. I didn't even give it a second thought that it could be the battle where Shulk met Albus. I didn't think about that for a second. Like, it just never, like, it didn't occur to me. You know what? I- oh my god, wait, what? 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 It just- it- it- it took my meter! This mother floofer took my meter! This mother floofer took my meter. It took my Monado meter. No, you're getting purged. I'm gonna purge you. You're getting purged right there. Alright. Ultimate Cannon IX, that's 9. Alright. That's gonna kill me, so we actually have... Wait, is this level 80?! Okay, this changes everything. Yeah, let Ryan soak up that damage, please. Let Ryan soak it up. So- mm. Ryan soak that up. Alright, Buster. Alright. Ryan can- Ryan can I know Ryan can handle it. I didn't even realize it was level 80. I thought we were- I thought it was like level 70 or something. Ryan's not dying today. Alright, we can chain attack him. Or her, I don't know. Supernova 8. Or 7. Sorry, I'm dumb. Alright, I thought Ryan was over there, but apparently Dunman's over there. Should we chain attack? I want to get my Monado meter up. Good go! Alright. Boom! Alright. Alright. Oh, come on! Oh, shoot! Ryan, no! Ryan! Ryan, no! No, 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 no! 
Thank you, Dunban. All right, I need a <laughs> thank you, Dunban. As they're laying dead, we need Ryan. Ryan's our damage punch. All right, what are you even aiming at? This is actually a hard fight, especially since we're in her underwear. Dunban's alive? Uh, okay then. Dunban's suddenly alive. I didn't. I didn't. I thought he was dead. I didn't do that. Um. I did not do that. Alright, now it's Rhyme time. The time is Rhyme, and I am ready to backslash. I would love to do another chain attack, but we don't have the meter for it. Oh, floof, dog. Okay, so when you put something in Machina Forest that has two Telethia fights that happen, it's like, oh, go to where a half Telethia battle happened. It didn't say, like, what to let the battle? You know, the one where um everything happened. You know, that one with the big character building moment for Shulk and Melia. No, no, the the one where um Shulk got a Monado purge and met his sword. You know that. Get up, Ryan. Uh, right, good. That's Ryan. 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 It's not over yet, All right. All right. See my boys. Don't split the boys up. Don't want to split the boys up. I'm having trouble on this. I'm scared for what Xanth is gonna bring. I mean, at least, um, at least Straps won't even be able to hit us. Hopefully. Alright, right, you're gonna be dead before you can uh, even do anything, so, you know. You can have that vision all you like. You can, you can have that vision. And you're not gonna kill me anyway. Now we're safe. Alright, you're dead. You're done. That's it. And dead. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> you are dead. Anyway. Shulk, I must... I know. Like Final Stop. Fantasy... Like Final Fantasy X, you gotta perform some sending ritual. Also, what? Where did you come Tyrea. from? Tyrea! You're safe! You do realize... That Telethia... Is Yumea. Hubbard, what now? Um... Well, that battle should have felt a lot more satisfying than Floof her. Yumea. Floof her. She tried to kill us indirectly. I was pursuing Yumea. Why? Even though she knew it was her fate to transform, she remained faithful to the Bionis. But why? Didn't she feel betrayed? Wait, was she in on it? Was she in on the whole thing? Everyone has their own beliefs, and what they believe is their own choice. Yumea adhered to her path. I pursued her so that I could fulfill her final wish. Her final wish? Yumea was imprisoned within the Tower of Investigation. She told me that after she transformed into a Telethia, I was to destroy her as quickly as possible. Well, you failed at that. She wished to sacrifice herself to the Bionis. At least, that is what I believed at first. But I now understand Yumea's true desire. That is why I must... Oh, so she's... This is my responsibility. She's gotta do it. Oh, who's gonna do it? Melia. So why? Someone just use your gold chest magic already. God. Father entrusted me with the Empire and its people. What I believe in is the will of those struggling to survive. I have to fight if I am to convey this to the next generation. Besides, Yumea is your birth mother. There is no need for you to carry out such an unpleasant task. Damn! Is the same not true of you? You may not be of her blood, but you still think of her as your- Oh no, nah, man, if I was in Melia's shoes, I'd be like, We will not bow to you! And I'd just be like- <laughs> I'd just shoot the giant laser- Oh my god. This is a duty that my father and brother conferred upon me. Melia. I'd be emotionally impacted if it wasn't who it was. <gasps> Yo, no. 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 Not the song. No! You're gonna make me sad. She did do the not bow to you thing. Oh my. 
you try to kill us. But this song is making me change my mind. Tyrea, I believe you and I are alike. Oh no, now here comes a character building moment. Alike. Never, vile girl. Dang. My gratitude for assisting you, Maya. I mean, mother. What the floof? They can actually fly with their wings? Tyrea. What? 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 Well, there she goes. Are we just not going to comment? Okay. Is she going to be okay on her own? She'll be all right. We and Tyrea share the same goal. Our paths are sure to meet again. Was she in the ending? I don't remember. Yeah, you're right. Melia, what did you mean just now? When you said you and Tyrea are alike? Tyrea must be half harmless, just like me. I called it! What? But the wings on her head! Not all half-blooded high Entia have small wings. Only the majority. Some are indistinguishable from pure-blooded Hyantia. Dominant and recessive inheritance. I've studied this. So that's why. Melia, do you think you may have knew this would happen? Perhaps. Actually, she had to have known. At least, that's what I believe. She just didn't want to admit it, because, you know... She was afraid of being like Melia. I guess she doesn't like Melia. She really doesn't like Melia. She was her mother after all. She must have been aware. Yes. Were we talking about Tyrea or Yumiya just now? I'm so confused. Oh my god, when you play like my second or third favorite song in the game during a cutscene, you know, I'm just... Yeah, whatever, man. Auto attack stealth? Six? Empress st Who's that for? Who uses one of those? Fiora? Dang, dude. So that's why I was playing once we part ways. Holy floof, man. I don't know how to feel about that scene. Are we just not gonna count on the fact that you can just fly away anytime you want? Oh, whatever. You know what? I'm not gonna question it. <laughs> she was just like, whoosh, and I've never seen that before, and I question it. Anyway, that'll be this for, that'll be it for this short episode of Xenoblade Chronicles X, up oh, X, nah, Xenoblade Chronicles New Game Plus. Sorry it was so short, but, you know, for people who don't like longer videos, it's pretty good, um, you know? I'm sorry that I got confused, but hey, when you say a Telethia battle, you kind of think of the most recent one that happened, because I couldn't think of any other one that happened. Anyway, though, that'll be for this new Game Plus episode. I've never seen that side quest before, so we just killed Yumea. I would be more emotionally impacted if um, she, she didn't try to kill us earlier. Sort of like vengeance, in a way. I don't know. I probably could have made more of that side quest, but, you know, whatever. I wish a lot of the side quests were like that. Maybe I'd do more side quests. Hello. I was the one responsible for Lady Yumea during her re in incarceration. I, her maid, sat with her in the Tower of Investigation. I will never forget that night, the eve of the Bionis Awakening. For I heard a story that deeply affected me. Apparently, Lady Tyrea was conceived at a clandestine ritual. Such rituals were customary to protect the pure Hyantia. It was not known at the time, but her father was half Hans. Ooh! Knew it! We knew it! Yes! Can you believe it? He was a mixed lineage! And when this was discovered, he was thrown out of their order. He has not been seen since. However, there is more. It was customary to remove the child from the Imperial line. However, Yumiya, despite her duty to the order, gave birth to Tyrea. And even now, it is not clear why Yumiya dared to defy the order. St straight after the Bionis awoke, Tyrea visited her mother. The two of them sat, and Yumiya told her the story I tell you now. On that dreaded night, Yumiya poured her heart out to her child. I believe I witnessed Yumiya's dying words of love to Tyrea. Dang! So she really cared about her then. Well, you know, 
maybe it would have been sadder if we knew the relationship they had. We really didn't, though. Lenata, I thought you were Tyrea. Anyway, though, next time on Zimli Chronicles, we New Game Plus, we will. <laughs> we'll fight the worst boss in the whole game. <laughs> we're gonna pay for our insolence next time. Anyway, guys, that'll be for this episode. Thank you for watching. I'm Sorkin D3. Signing off. Peace out, mobile keychains, and it's daytime. And ironically, good night.